Hi, I'm John Paul Capanegro. Welcome to my DVD series, Revolution. Let me bottom line it for you. There are six simple steps that you need to take in order to make color consistent, predictable, and to be able to control it. One, use ICC profiles to describe those color spaces. Two, profile your monitor with a hardware solution. Three, choose a wide gamut device neutral editing space in your color settings in Photoshop. Four, soft proof. Five, navigate your printer driver correctly. And finally, six, control your environment. Let me give you a little more detail on each one of these. So here are the six simple steps. Make profiled conversions with your scanner or your raw converter for your digital files. Two, calibrate your monitor with hardware. Three, set Photoshop color settings. Four, soft proof. Five, navigate your printer driver correctly. And six, finally, control your environment, light being a chief component of that. What we're really trying to do is close the loop or identify the characteristics of each color space that's involved in our imaging chain from our input device, camera or scanner, to our editing space within Photoshop, software, to our viewing space, our monitor, and finally to our output space, the printer, paper, driver, and even profile combination, so our output combination. We need to use ICC profiles to identify each one of these color spaces so we can describe the color that we're capturing and describe how we're transforming it, where we're transforming it to as it moves through this imaging chain. If you're missing a profile, it's not a closed loop. Something unexpected may happen to your color. Remember, a change in state requires recharacterization. Over time, your monitor may drift, so you'll need to reprofile it. Part of this is all about getting good profiles. Color management is only as good as the profiles that you use, and we need high quality profiles. For monitors, it's relatively easy and reasonably inexpensive. Colorimeters are hardware instruments that will help you calibrate or characterize your monitors. It costs around $220. You use them about once a month. For printers, output profiles are a little harder to come by. Though profiles that manufacturers provide are generally free, They've been increasing in quality by leaps and bounds in recent years, and they may be all that you need. Some printers, say the HP printers, are even self-profiling, and this may be an industry trend. There are even monitors these days that are self-profiling. If you were to build a custom profile for an exotic substrate or for a paper type that the manufacturer didn't support, it would generally cost you about $50, 50 to 100 to use a profiling service like Chromix.com to build a profile for you for your particular hardware and uh, output, say paper and ink combination. You'll need to do this for every specific paper and ink combination. So if you're using a lot of different substrates, you may be buying a lot of different profiles. At that point, you might consider doing it yourself for around $14.95 list. You can often find discounted prices out there. You can buy hardware such as the i1 Pro photo package that will allow you to build profiles for all of your devices, monitors, printers, even projectors. So getting good quality profiles is essential to controlling color. Here are two such devices. The i1 Display 2, it's a colorimeter that just senses color, it reads light emitting out of a monitor, and with the software that it comes with, builds a profile for you. Do it about once a month. There's no need to do it every day. If you're doing it every day, you're, well, you're type quintuple A, and you may need to seek professional help. Uh, this is a spectrophotometer. It does exactly what the colorimeter does, only it also contains a light source, allowing it to shine light at printed patches and to be able to build a printer profile. Because this needs a high quality light source and because the software is a little more sophisticated, it costs a little bit more, but it's more versatile. And these are the kinds of devices that will last you years, not needing to be upgraded every 18 months, like Photoshop. Uh, these are relatively stable, but uh, there have been advances in recent years, so it's a good idea to keep tabs on it. I'd say the merger of x and Graytag really produce uh, a juggernaut with respect to color management, software, and technology. And it's well worth investing 
this kind of uh, time and effort to make sure that your color is in line and you can accurately reproduce the results that you're looking for, all of the edits that you built in your files in Photoshop, if you can't reproduce them, may be somewhat meaningless. So first, get your color in line.